Hey, it's SJ. Before getting into the video today, I wanted to pop on here really quick and just say that I have changed my username on this channel. Um, if you have been here for a while, my channel has been called Hey, it's SJ for years now. Um, but I feel that my channel has been very personal finance related lately. And with that, it seemed appropriate to change my username to a more <sighs> finance related name because Hey, it's SJ is very vlog style. Um, so I decided to go with uh, Darling in Debt. It seemed cute. I liked it. Um, so that's the new channel name in case you guys are seeing something different and you're a little bit confused. I did post the name change in my community tab, but I did want to hop on here really quick and just say that in case anybody was confused. Um, I've also created an associated Instagram, which I'll put that down here and also in the description box. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and support me there as well, feel free to do so. But anyways, don't want to take up too much of today's video with that. I just wanted to pop on here and say that really quick. Yes, I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey, it's SJ. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Sarah Jane and I bring you guys with me on a debt-free journey to pay off $21,700. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my December budget. Uh, December is such a crazy time because of the holidays, so keeping track of finances can be a smidge tricky. I'm having a hard time with it, even for myself, so I am sure so many people are as well. If you like personal finance content, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. Um, so let's go ahead and get into some of the numbers. Starting with fixed expenses, um, I have 38% that's being set aside for my mortgage, 2% um, is going to internet, 2% is going to my gym membership, 3% is going to my cell phone bill, 3% is going toward electricity, and 1% is going to my music that lets me allow that lets me have copyright music um here on youtube now that i actually am looking at this number i think my electricity bill is going to be higher than i thought because they just sent it to me oh yeah okay so the electricity bill is a little bit higher than what i thought it was gonna be um making a total of my variable expenses or making a total of my fixed expenses 49 percent Moving into debt payments during this pay period because I do share my budgeting videos every two weeks because that's when I get paid and then I am trying to do like a monthly closeout at the end of the month. Um, so with my debt payments for this pay period, 8% is going to my credit card and 6% is going to my car. Uh, if you've been following along on my Transfer Tuesdays, you will know that my car note is very low and I'm very, very excited to finish paying it off hopefully by Christmas. We will see. Um, making a total of my debt payments 15%. Now going into my sinking funds. Sinking funds are a new thing for me that I just started last month. Just in terms of trying to plan out some of these bigger cost things that are coming down the road. That's why I've established sinking funds. Um, first I have my vehicle sinking fund which is to save up for some new tires because I honestly need to get them pretty soon. My dad keeps getting on to me about it. Um, so 0.63% is going to that uh, for my vacation sinking fund. 1% is going to that. I really want to go on a ski trip next month so hopefully that will go through. And then for Christmas I've set aside 5% making a total of it's 6.88 percent we're just going to round up to seven when we're putting this in the graph and then last but not least going into variable expenses which is like the fun part of this video what actually gets budgeted for so starting off first with groceries we're putting eight percent that eight percent usually is pretty good for me um I usually don't spend over 8% and when I try to go, bo go below 8% I, I usually go over budget so we're going to stick with 8%. Transportation is going to be 6%. My dog is going to be 1%. Um, however now that I know uh, my electricity bill is higher now that it's colder that might actually get nixed. Um, personal spending will be 4%. Um, that's just to buy anything that maybe doesn't fit into any of these other categories. I put that in personal spending. Home is going to be 4%. My dad is coming up to um, for Christmas time frame and there are some um, renovations that I'd love for him to do. He told me how much he thought it would cost. Um, so I'm setting aside money for that. 
the out fund which is if I go out with my girlfriends um, it's 2% shopping is 2% and beauty is 2% beauty are things like like today I need to go pick up some face powder and some new conditioner for my hair because I just ran out um, things like that so total for variable expenses is going to be 30% um, so in recap, how everything is going to be budgeted out the next two weeks, fixed expenses is 49%, debts is 15%, sinking funds is 7%, and variable expenses is 30%. So um, if you actually calculate that and that makes 101%, just remember that debts or just remember that the sinking fund was actually a smidge lower than 7%. Anyways, that's it for how I am spending my money the next two weeks. Um, hopefully, you know, I don't overspend. I think if I overspend in one area, it'll probably be Christmas gifts. Um, I started saving for like gifts a little bit later than I would have liked um, back in October, which is when I typically would have started saving for Christmas spending. I was in the middle of a job transition. Uh, so it, I didn't really start saving until the mid of November, which is a bit late for me. Um, so if I overspend in anything, I'll probably pull from some of my other categories so that I can um, buy a couple things for Christmas um, for some of the people that I care about. And anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below because um, it really helps support my channel. Uh, let me know in the comments below how your December budget is going so far. Did you save in advance for Christmas gifts or are you kind of on the last minute bandwagon like me? Um, would love to know. And that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mrs. Dollar.